Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a very special video for you guys. Now we're going to be talking about a bulletin board printer for Animal Crossing New Horizon. Now this is called ACNH Pixel Press. Now this was made by Cat and if you guys are in my server, a lot of you guys know who Cat is. Um, he's a great helper on our on our team and this is something that he made and I would really hope that a lot of you guys check this out and use it and you will need SysBot Base 1.7 in order for this to work and you will need a switch with custom firmware on it. Now in order for you to use this you will need to go in front of a bulletin board, um, you will need to create a post and select your brush size. Um, he says that the thinnest brush, uh, thinnest brush size has the best results. You want to type in your IP address and press connect. You load the image and then you click on draw. Now this is very simple. It's very easy to do. As long as you have CFW installed and SysBot Base 1.7, you will be good to go. Now I will not teach you in this video how to install SysBot Base. Um, I do go over it in my other videos, so please feel free to check those out. Now once you get here, I will link you to the the release page. Um, another way for you to look at it is if you're in my server, you can go down to the support center and you can actually type in pixel press and you can click enter and you'll see all the info and the instructions labeled out here with the video tutorial and the download path here as well. Now, once we get back here, you want to make sure that you're hitting the latest release and you download the zip file. Now, once you download it, Make sure you extract the file to your desktop. Now I already have it extracted. You can double click it and you want to go ahead and launch the EXE. Now once you launch the EXE, you'll see a couple of options here. Now if you want, you can actually go into the wiki and there's really not that much info so it's very like straightforward. Um, it's going to be a lot of you testing it out for yourself and seeing what works for whatever picture that you use. Now the density, you could change the pixel density. Um, as you can see, um, there's an option for two or four. Now if you do use two, there's a possibility that the picture won't finish completely and the actual program will tell you if, that's, if that will happen or not. Now there's also the resize option if you want to resize your image. Um, it goes all the way down to 50%, 60 and 80 as well. Now there's also a start X and Y. So basically what that means is that it's the coordinate in the top left pixel of the drawing. Um, you can always change this if you want your drawing to start at a different position. Now all you have to do once you have SysBot Base installed is you want to make sure that you type in the IP address of your switch. And once you do, you're going to go ahead and click on connect. Um, let's go ahead and do that for one of my switches. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect to one of my switches. And you will see an, um, a little reading that says connected successfully. Now what you want to do next is if you want to go ahead and click on an image, you can just upload it from wherever you have one. I'm going to go ahead and put this panda image and you'll see that um, it will actually tell you how long it's going to take to draw this picture. Now this will change if you change the uh, de uh, density and you'll see that it says your drawing won't get completed as there is not enough ink. So you want to make sure that, that for this specific, uh, specific picture that you want to keep it on 4. And then you can always resize it. 50% will obviously cut down the time by a lot. Um, and obviously you can change the start X and Y. Once you're done, you're just going to go ahead and click on draw and that's it. Um, there isn't much else to go over. This is just going to be a lot of you testing it out and using it on your bulletin board. You can actually go on to other people's islands and use this as well. Now, after you click on draw, it's basically going to start um, basically printing your picture on a bulletin board. Um, it's actually very neat and you guys are definitely going to love this, especially if you want to do this on stream or show it off. Uh, make sure you guys give Kat some credit and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.